old Oliver. Bringing us the news of the first Star Citizen Man Flat Away. Oliver Zark. You're watching Hubware Galactic. I'm Oliver Zark. These are tonight's headlines. Tech giant Metropolis New Babbage is quickly getting known for its prominent racing culture, and we send our reporter to catch the latest races. In a unique anchor-made story, we're finding out how you, the ordinary Imperial Joe, can make sure you get the treatment you deserve. And lastly, do you have lots of money and time but no way to spend it? Look no really further into one cool, of the dude. richest and most wasteful stunt collectives in the galaxy. Good evening, viewers. We begin tonight's report by visiting the racing scene in New Babbage. Due to its cold climate, the frozen city has always had a long tradition of hosting races, where manufacturers can have their drivers push their vehicles like the to the absolute limit. The upbeat. flat, frozen lakes and bustling nightlife has made this techno metropolis one of the most popular sites for all types of racing. And even though this might change in the future, where the soon-to-open Orison racing track might have Crusader offering up some interesting competition, New Babbage will always be part of any bigger racing league's choice of location. The city has seen a lot of racing action recently, so to find out more, we figured we would send out our dedicated reporter for sports and leisure, Casey Cross. Take a look. Lately, Stanton's biggest consumer of Widow and Therapy, New Babbage, has had several top-class racing leagues visiting the frozen landscapes. Both the Tour de Verse and the XGR League have been here recently taking advantage of the cool breeze of Microtech to push their vehicles even further. Most recently, however, Atmo, the organization behind the infamous Daymar rally, held an exhibition race between B-list celebrities and Greycat developers, celebrating the launch of the new Greycat STV. Obviously, the STV I wasn't is fast the B and list. I'm only on the A list meetings, just so you know. I was not at the B list one. You know, so nobody really likes to go to those B list ones. I'm <laughs> just saying. And if you're going to the B list ones, you're kind of wasting some time. You need an A lister like DG360, and then you know it's going to be a good time, really. Um, I'm sorry for everybody at the B list one. You did not have a good time. You all told me. And it's light, so naturally, in a landscape like this, winning the race or even finishing would probably be difficult. Yeah, this race, however, too, was not about winning, but all about bringing the racing community together for an awesome event where both Atmo and XGR, two of the biggest leagues in racing, treated us to their expert opinions and analysis on the new vehicle from Greycat. Out of the over 25 racers who started out, only a handful managed to even finish the course. Top names from the highest ranks in the Daymar Rally and the Stanton 7 were eliminated by accidents and overlooked hazards. <laughs> Two-time Daymar Rally champion Jet Heller was obviously struggling in 8th place, and after keeping the lead for 3 quarters of the race, top racer Diplomat managed to wreck their vehicle just a kilometer from the finish line. The racer who managed to win it all was RP20010, seen here in the morning sun waving to our camera crew from the finish line. As we leave New Babbage, we want to thank Atmo and the developers from Greycat for a very special and exciting event. For Hubwire Galactic, I'm Casey Cross. That's cool. Casey Thank you, good. Casey. Good reporting, it's awesome Casey. to see profiles from both XGR and Atmo coming together to host an event like this. Good on them, and great for us who get to watch it. Moving on. Recently, we heard about an organization so dedicated to the medical profession, they're being contracted by other organizations to hold exercises and field courses in medical practice. They've effectively mixed military tactics. Okay, he's doing good because he's starting to speed things up a bit. I like it. I like the upbeat on the tempo with the music. I like that. I like how he's cutting the things faster. Uh, Oliver, you're doing a great job. Like, keep it up, dude. Like, you, you need to keep that pace up. It's good and medical practice and turn themselves into the ultimate first responders. They're called MedRunner and they operate as a premium service, responding quickly with a team to whoever accepts their rates. And after hearing about them, I had to invite myself to come along for an operation and see what they're all about. Take a look. I was invited to meet up with the MedRunner org at Port Olisar where we would sit and wait for today's medical emergencies to hit their frequencies. Clients who pay for their premium service are able to call a MedRunner emergency response team, and after taking a couple promotional pictures, their communications officer informs us that there's a downed premium client on a nearby moon. The team embarks into their emergency response gunship and has saved a seat for me. 
from where I try to conduct an interview with the team while in flight. For how long would one have to wait for uh, for help? I mean, you're here. You're seeing how fast we're going. Uh, would you deny aid for someone who couldn't afford your, your rates? It's a premium service, right? I don't know. I'm just one of the line medics. Oh, okay. You're just getting paid, I guess. Do you, did you take a doctor's oath or something? Mm, yep. Right. Did you take a personality test? <laughs> These guys are fast and well trained, and I try to keep up and not be in their way. No, that was good. However, was good. their speed and effectiveness tends to leave me a little disoriented. I made the logical decision that I should try to stay on the elevator and try to tap into security cameras and helmets instead of going in with the team. Here's the footage. <laughs> Set up perimeter, medics go to work. All right. Okay, cool. Secure the Patient has a tier three chest injury. Reviving. Move it, move it, move it. That's good. I already knew these guys were effective and fast. I was still surprised when the elevator hit the top floor and I was once again left behind. I got back to the ship and the crew had already started celebrating the successful mission. The party was upstairs, but as I'm not a paying premium client, I was not welcome. Upstairs is VIP only. I got in the bunk bed on the lower deck and tried to summarize my day with the Medrunner organization. They're strict, rule-loving, hard partying and well-oiled medical machine. And if you're a paying customer in need, a Medrunner team is for about 30 minutes also your best friend. This is really professional. Cowboy Galactic, I'm Oliver Zark. While still in their infancy, Medrunner works hard on recruiting future clients. But until they're properly established, they do offer up their services for standard agreement <laughs> UEE it's medical charges. Physics, it's that, it's to get in touch physics. with your closest Medrunner team, you can yes, use their the Spectrum service. Specs, Check out their organization page <laughs> for more info. Now, let's go over to the other end of the spectrum and check out an organization that knows everything about getting hurt and receiving all kinds of aid. The stunt collective for science are roaming the empire, and while doing so, they're frequenting hospitals from the free city of Levski to the beaches of Kassel. Our reporter, Josh Gunyan, has the past couple weeks been observing the group, but we haven't seen him in a while. I hope he's fine. Anyways, take a look. Ever since the general public got the opportunity to keep their minds backed up and safely tucked away using unknown and totally secure alien tech, life has been so much fun. Over the last couple years, the declining respect for life had meant racers, soldiers and thrill seekers have, on a regular basis, set new standards in entertainment for and sure, raised but... expectations for fans all over the galaxy. One such organization is For Science, a loosely organized group of rich friends with a love for stunts and a disregard for modesty and general order, which aims to just have fun no matter the cost. Naturally, there have been several complaints from the public towards the organization, which has generated quite a hefty sum of fines over the months they've been active. But it's still nothing for these rich assholes. Oh, thanks, if we're not counting up, their fines, their expenses yeah, are still right now, greatly exceeding those of a frontline assault gone bad. However, this is great news for. That was a cool shot like that. I like that. Like while he's on the while he's on the tram. That's really cool. Counting their fines, their expenses are still greatly exceeding those of a frontline assault gone bad. However, this is great news for all you rich pilots who are bored out of your minds, but still have a hard time moving on from blowing up your ships on a landing pad and leaving cleanup crews discussing the origins of your parents. <laughs> this guy is very good. I said this on the last video they did. The guy who's doing the foip work and, and uh, the reporter here, like this guy they need to keep. I, I happen to like the uh, woman who was on earlier. She actually was did a really good job as well. But like this dude, like it is very hard to do what he is doing to get FOIP accurate in the game is a very, even Oliver has issues with it. Every once in a while you can see Oliver, like the lip move the wrong way or the eye kind of squinches down. But this guy, whatever he's using, man, I have not seen any mistakes from facial gestures at all from this guy. It's like I'm watching CGI movie on Disney Channel. 
every time I see this guy's segment, it's always perfect. Why not cure your boredom together with some new friends instead? Four science are meeting up about once every week and come up with activities on the spot I mean, for the that. members present. Look at that. Be it jumping cyclones between look flying that. ships or just smashing your hover bike Don't as hard Sarah. as you can into some huge landing gears and seeing how far your slam smelling brains can fly after the impact. It's all for fun anyways and oftentimes quite exciting. For Hubwire Galactic, I'm Josh Gunyon. Now if you'll excuse me, I'm about to fly this Merlin full speed through a Hercules. <laughs> right. Right. <laughs> what? <laughs> That's the kind of humor I like. That explains why we haven't heard from Josh. We know where he had his <laughs> Too imprint. Bad. He was the best. Anyways, we're gonna try gathering up our team, so that's all we had time for. I'm out of his arc, and you are wiser <laughs> than yesterday. Be safe. What are you doing? Who put Josh's dead? <laughs> <laughs> that was uh, that was amazingly good. That was the best yet. Hold on, I'm gonna I'm gonna type down here to my friend uh, over at Zark here. What is up, Bob? Welcome to the fam, dude. Social media. What is wrong with Bob? Well, great instructor. Let's see here. Wow, great job. Uh, we just got done watching on stream. That was that was fantastic. I like to I like to put in comments every once in a while that my friends know that they're doing amazing work. Like that, that this is what I think we need more of. You know, like this is entertaining me uh, to a degree that like a lot of other Star Citizen content doesn't. And people like uh, you know Zark and you got. Um, Nate with EE Studios is awesome as well. These guys are killing it when it comes to content. And they deserve a lot more praise and a lot more credit. They really, really do. Keep it up, Oliver. You're doing a wonderful job, man. Can't wait to see more. Just it's getting better and better and better. You really are doing a fantastic job. 